Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to discuss a company called Salesforce, CRM. They, uh, made, they bought out a company last week. It's called Slack Work. They paid $28 billion for it. A lot of analysts think they might have paid a little bit too much. I'm one of them. I think they paid a little too much myself. We're talking about $28 billion for a startup. And it's been going on for a while, but uh, CRM was very profitable last quarter, which was another good little sign. Salesforce is paying a huge price for Slack. Why? The deal might not work. Well, I think the deal is going to work. I think they're setting themselves up. You know, there's companies that don't make the move when they should, and they fall behind. So I think CRM is going to have a retracement back up. We're going to go ahead and look at the chart real fast. CRM. And I've noticed CRM, we're going to look at the yearly first. I'm going to show you why I spotted on the yearly. It makes it a buy maybe to me, and that's because we hit this little support level right in here. You see this little spinning top? And I think if we put a little trend line right there on top of that spinning top right there, you'll find out that this 216.10 hit our target. And I'm going to show you the pullback. Look at that. We pulled back and hit right on that 216.10, and we've had a little bounce up. Now I'm going to show you what else, something else a little bit different about this here. Let's go to 5-day. What we have here is an ascending triangle, or it actually it looks like an upper wedge almost, but I'm going to call it an ascending triangle. Well, hmm, now that I look at it a little bit different, I'm going to see here. I'm going to pull this up to 20 day. There we go. This is a little bit better picture. On the 20 day, you got one, two, three. We had the pullback. Had a pretty good pullback. The highs was up here right around the 270 area. Then we tried to make a, a, another top and then a lower high, and then she went ahead and failed. For, for a whole week, she sold off, and we're into a new week. Right now, we're setting up an ascending triangle, and I'm going to put that right here and show you. And we're going to change this around. This is CRM. I'll be definitely wanting to take this trade Monday. And we're going to open this up to about three here. And then I'm going to draw another trend line. Right down here. And this could be like a reversal play to me. And that is your ascending triangle. Now I think this thing can break out. And we got a resistance level right here. Right off these two candles right here. Whoops, wrong one. Can't tell you how many times I do that. Right there. Then we got another little resistance right here. And then we got the huge gap fill that'll take it up to right about here, and that'll be our going to be our hard resistance, maybe up back to 240. But slowly, this could be a long swing trade. But what I want to do is try to take it to 231. Uh, if this thing pulls back to this bottom trend line, it's going to be a buy for me, and that's going to be right around this 223.38 area for your first support, and then that second one right down here, just in case they start coming in here and wanting to try to short the stock. But like I said on that yearly, and I'm going to pull that up again, we did find a support right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that with the red line because that's going to be a solid, solid buy if it pulls back to that area, which I doubt it. But the wick did hit that, and we do have an ascending triangle, and we could break it up to this resistance level of 231. So that's going to be the way I'm going to be looking at. Let me see if I missed anything in here. On the daily one minute. See, I like to pull that right there and then right in here. So we have the sending triangle. We got to break out past 226 to run it up to 228. In between here, we have a little pivot point area. And that's going to be right, I think, right about 226.83. Those are going to be our resistance levels to break. We're going to have 226.14, 226.83. And then you got this nonchalant descending triangle up here. And there's going to be little resistance levels after it that we got to hit to break. Pullback support is going to be right around in here. And I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up and I'll show you why. I like to make them red. That way I know that it's a serious redness. 
but we did have a top right here and we did have pullbacks right here so i'm thinking this is going to be a solid support at 223.98 if that holds and that's about a dollar 50 drop dollar 30 from there so dollar 80 i mean if that drops on down that's going to be a pretty good little entry spot so and if this trend line this is an ascending triangle so if it pulls back to this trend line i'll take the trade up from there too and let's go ahead and extend that to the right move that to the right so let's look at this on 10 day and see if i missed anything on 10 day or 20 day and there's one spot right there i want to get that in that 229.81 area right there okay i'll be able to read this there we go solid support down here at 223.98 with a strong buy at right around this 223 on up a little bit this will keep going up as the day progresses resistance to break is going to be that 226.14 i'm long in this trade if i jump in it to break resistance at 227.94 then we got the 228.30 and then we can bring it up to that 229 and then the 231 but for right now if it pulls back i'm in the trade or if it breaks out of this resistance of 226 and starts building up momentum at open and take it to the 227.47 and hopefully that'll break 227.94. And that's CRM. I'm going to be watching this real close on Monday. I think it's setting up with an ascending triangle for a breakout, but you never know. You never know. Please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. Hit that little Twitter bird. Follow us on there, our stock twits. And subscribe and ring that bell, and we'll catch you later. See you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.